Hey guys, Mr. Clark here. Today, let's draw Gordon the big engine. Finally, something I agree with. Gordon is the number four blue engine who pulls the express on the island of Sodor. As the senior member of the team, he is the fastest and most powerful engine on the island, and he knows it. Okay, let's get started. I'm gonna draw Gordon here at a front angle so we can see his front end and the rest of his train parts chugging down the track. His head is a circle. Inside that circle, I'll draw two little semicircles for his eyes. I'll draw his pupils here in the corner of each eye, leaving a little sparkle. Above his eyes, I'll draw two raised eyebrows and I'll color them in black. Next, I'll draw his nose starting from the inside of the right eye, coming down and across his face, like that. Just below his nose, I'll draw his big smile. Yeah. Now, Gordon has a few cool facial features, like his philtrum connecting his nose and his mouth, and little wrinkles on either side of his eyes. Nice, that looks like Gordon. I'll add more details to his face when I color him in at the end. And right above his head, I'll draw his smokestack. This is where he blows off steam, created in the boiler. Now I'll draw his body starting with his tank. I'm drawing Gordon at an angle, so I'll use a perspective line and a vanishing point so the train will look smaller as it gets farther away. I'll draw straight lines down the length of the train from his smokestack and from the bottom of his head. His tank has a long, smooth, cylindrical shape, which houses his firebox and the boiler. It's inside here that fuel is added to create combustion to power the train. Nice. Now I'll draw Gordon's footboards. So again, using my perspective lines, I'll draw straight edges for his footboards. And they'll look thicker as you get closer to the front. The front end of the footplate is flat. So I'll draw a rectangle here and connect the other side. and the same for the rear. Cool. Now Gordon has some cool tools and options here on his front end, but we'll come back and add those in a minute. Next, following behind the tank is the cabin. This is where the conductor sits. So because it's farther away, I'll draw a bit smaller, keeping my perspective in mind. It's got a boxy shape, with a round roof on top. Yeah. With some little windows so we can see what's going on. Now behind the cabin is the tender, where fuel and water are kept. This also has a boxy shape. And again, I'm going to draw this smaller because it's in the back of the train, near my vanishing point. Cool. Now let's draw Gordon's powerful wheels along the bottom of the train. In front, I'll draw his pilot wheels that keep him hooked onto the track. The wheels are circles, but they'll look foreshortened or squished due to the perspective. Connect the two front wheels with a straight line across. Now the next series of wheels are bigger and powered by the piston rods. I'll draw them right here under the footboards. Losing to a tank engine? Not today. Now I'll use my perspective line to continue the wheels which will be connected to the track. Take your time and really work with your perspective here. and connecting these wheels are those powerful piston rods. 
I'll draw little connectors there. I'll finish the wheels under the tank. With little spokes. The wheels under the cabin and the tender all run along my perspective line. Cool! Now I'll go back and add some details to Gordon like on his front plate, I'll add buffer stops, one on either side, a coupler in the middle, and lamp irons. I'll draw his dome above the boiler, some rails, and of course his big number four on the side of his tender. Okay, we're finished drawing. Now let's add some color. I'm gonna use colored pencils, but you can color with whatever you have. For Gordon, I'll choose a light blue, red, black, and a little yellow. But be creative and make it your own. You can color Gordon like Superman or Batman. Most importantly, have fun. Okay, are you ready? All right, let's color. Yeah, we colored Gordon, the big engine. I've done it. Subscribe to Creative Cricket for more cool art lessons like this. If you enjoy my videos, share them with your friends and teachers, or click on the like button. I really appreciate your support. All right, we'll see you next time.